This week's all new episode of Star Wars Rebels is called Rise of the Old Masters, and it finds Kanan finally making time to give Ezra the Jedi training that he's been promising. And as you can imagine, it doesn't go over so great. Ezra is rash and impulsive, and Kanan himself fears that he might just not be the teaching type. All of this ends up getting put on hold, however, when the crew of the Ghost discover Master Luminar, a Jedi veteran of the Clone Wars and friends of Kanan, is being held captive by the Empire in a maximum security prison. The actual prison break in sequence is is a beautifully executed sight to behold. Kanan and his force powers are on full display in this episode, and we actually get to see him get kind of emotional and even a little violent. The highlight for me being him using the force to double clothesline a pair of very unlucky stormtroopers. The Old Masters also saw the first physical appearance of the Inquisitor, Rebel's big original big bad, and oh man does this dude leave an impression. He is scary as hell and dangerous to boot, making use of crazy new lightsaber techniques. It's important to note the the Inquisitor is not a Darth. He is a dark side adept and Imperial agent who does not abide by much of the Sith dogma. That being said, he does try to attempt to uh, turn Ezra over to the dark side in another standout scene. This episode was also jam-packed with Star Wars references. Uh, do or do not, there is no try was a big one. We also get a little bit of a callback to the uh, this deal gets worse all the time line. The Old Masters ends with an explosive action-packed escape and both Ezra and Kanan admitting that while they may not be perfect, they are at the end of the day all the other one has, so they're gonna make it work. In summation, Rise of the Old Masters was simply an excellent episode that speaks volumes about the kind of things Rebels can accomplish on TV. It had action, character development, some great reference work. All in all, it was just a winner from start to finish, a 10 out of 10.